Hi, my name's Julie Shermer, and today I'm going to be talking about collaborative treatment planning with patients, the evidence, support, and tips in doing so. So first, the evidence. The resources at the end of this, of this video show multiple studies and meta-analyses that uh, support motivational interviewing in its treatment of medical illnesses, behavioral health illnesses, such as alcohol use, smoking cessation, diabetes, in improving adherence, medical outcomes, functioning, and supporting behavioral change. So finding common ground in collaborative treatment planning is a component of motivational interviewing. It is one of the key elements that two consensus statements of physicians from multiple specialties have agreed are one of the key elements of doctor-patient communication and office visits. A, a good mnemonic and model for remembering how to do this is the PACT model. So P is for problem. It begins at the very beginning of your interviews when you ask a patient what their chief concern is. You know, what brings them in today? It's what the, how they define it and not you. A um, is how is it affecting them? So say a 42-year-old woman comes in with a common chronic, chronic disease of depression, but she defines it as fatigue. And how it's affecting her is she just can't get out of her way. Uh, she has trouble with concentration. So you being the good physician that you are, you work her up for depression using the PHQ-9 or using Siggy caps, assessing all of the symptoms and her functioning. And prior to you coming up with a treatment plan, asking her what her what her chief concern is. So this woman, her chief concern might be, you know, I, I don't want to get out of the house. I don't want to do parent teacher conferences. I don't, I'm, I am not showing up for my kids baseball games. Um, if she were working outside the home, she might say I'm calling in sick to work all the time. Or when I am at work, I'm not functioning. My concentration is off and I'm concerned people are beginning to notice. So say that you've come up with a diagnosis. You've agreed on a treatment plan that might include behavioral activation and, and medication. Her PHQ-9 is say a 17 and her functioning really has been affected. So what does she think about this plan? Are there barriers? Are there any barriers for her to follow it, follow through? And if there are, problem solving around those barriers and then either keeping or modifying the plan based, based on the barriers that you identified and what you agree to. Studies have shown that exploring and addressing barriers in the treatment of, um, of depression with medication greatly and significantly improves adherence and treatment planning. So remember, PACT, problem, how is it affecting them? What's their chief concern? And how do they agree with the treatment? And, and also remember that you can't control patients' decisions or behaviors, but you can use motivational interviewing to find common ground to engage and activate patients in making the changes that they need to improve their health. Thank you.